Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you again so much for our time together. Looking forward to seeing all of you tonight at East Campus. I'll be continuing to teach in this series on what is it like when Jesus comes? What is revival like when he walks into the room, when he walks into our church, when he walks into our barcada, when he walks into our life? What is revival really like? Right now, I want us to go back and talk about a different kind of a walk. Isaiah chapter 35 beginning with verse eight. And a highway will be there, big, big highway, not, not a little path, a highway, a wide, broad path. A highway will be there, and it will be called the way of holiness. Now, isn't that interesting? It's not a little path that only one can cross at a time. There's a highway of holiness. There's a life that we can live that's very broad, Holiness is not constrictive. There's a holy highway that is very broad that we can walk on. And it says the unclean will not journey on it. It will be for those who walk in the way. Wicked fools will not go about on it. No lion will be there, nor any ferocious beast get on it. They will not be found there. But only the redeemed will walk there, and the ransomed of the Lord will return. They will enter Zion with singing. Everlasting joy will crown their head. Gladness and joy will overtake them. And sorrow and sighing will flee away. When I think of holiness, I don't think of anything constrictive or legalistic. It's a highway. But it's a lifestyle. It's a highway. It's a, it's a place that we live our life and walk and move about on that is not there for the unclean, Fools are not there, and there's no danger there. In a, on the highway of holiness, there's no lions, there's no ferocious beasts there. there. There's no danger there. Well, who else do you find on the highway of holiness? Walk people who walk in the way, the redeemed of the Lord, the ransomed of the Lord. Well, where does the highway of holiness take me? To Zion, to the city of God, to the presence of God. Now, I love this, brothers and sisters. The highway of holiness takes us into the presence of God. It's not legalism and bondage. The highway of holiness leads us into the presence of God. And what are the emotions like of the people on the highway of the holiness? Are, are they walking around like a bunch of depressed people? I don't get to have any fun in my life. No. It said, um, everlasting joy crowns their heads. Gladness and joy overtake them. Sorrow and sign flee away. People on the highway of holiness are a happy people. 